Bismillah, the blessing before every meal. In a cozy home nestled within a bustling city, there lived a loving family. The Ali's, Mr. and Mrs. Ali, along with their two children, Sarah and Adam, were known throughout their neighborhood for their kindness and generosity. One of the special traditions the Ali family followed was saying Bismillah before every meal. This simple phrase held deep meaning for them and it was a practice they held dear to their hearts. Bismillah, Mrs. Ali would say as she placed the steaming dishes of food on the table. For the Ali's, saying Bismillah was more than just a tradition. It was a way of expressing gratitude and seeking blessings from Allah before partaking in the sustenance He had provided. As they savored each bite of their meal, the Ali's felt a sense of peace and contentment wash over them. They knew that by uttering Bismillah, they were inviting Allah's blessing into their home and nourishing their bodies and souls. But what did Bismillah mean and why was it so important? One evening, as they gathered around the dinner table, Sarah asked her parents about the significance of saying Bismillah. It's an Arabic phrase that means, in the name of Allah. Mrs. Ali explained, by saying Bismillah before we eat, we acknowledge that all blessings come from Allah and we seek His guidance and protection. Mr. Ali added, it's also a way of expressing gratitude for the food we have and recognizing that it's a gift from Allah. When we say Bismillah, we are reminded to eat mindfully and with gratitude. Sarah and Adam nodded, understanding the importance of the phrase their family held dear. From that day forward, they made a conscious effort to say Bismillah before every meal, grateful for the blessings Allah had bestowed upon them. And as they continued their tradition, the Ali's found that their meals became more than just a time to satisfy their hunger. They became moments of connection, reflection and gratitude, strengthening their bonds as a family and deepening their faith in Allah's blessing. Ali's Ramadan Journey Once upon a time, in a bustling town, there lived a young boy named Ali. Ali was eagerly waiting the arrival of Ramadan Kareem, the holiest month in the Islamic calendar. He had heard wonderful stories about the blessings and rewards of fasting and reciting the Holy Quran during this second time. As the first crescent moon of Ramadan appeared in the sky, Ali felt a sense of excitement and determination. He made a promise to himself and to Allah that he would observe all the 30 fasts of Ramadan and dedicate himself to reading the Holy Quran every day. True to his words, Ali woke up before dawn each morning to eat sahur and offer his prayers. Throughout the day, despite feeling hungry and thirsty, Ali remained steadfast in his fast, remembering the teachings of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him about the importance of patience and self-discipline. In the quiet moments of the afternoon, Ali would sit down with his Quran and recite its verses with devotion and reverence. He felt a deep sense of peace and tranquility wash over him as he immersed himself in the words of Allah. 
as the days of Ramadan passed by, Ali noticed profound changes within himself. He felt more spiritually connected to Allah and his heart was filled with gratitude and humanity. The act of fasting had taught him empathy and compassion for those less fortunate and the words of the Quran had guided him towards righteousness and goodness. Ali also learned about the countless benefits of reading the Holy Quran. He discovered that each letter he recited carried immense rewards and that the Quran was a source of healing for both the body and soul. Through its guidance, Ali found strength in times of difficulty and solace in times of sadness. As the month of Ramadan drew to a close and joyous celebration of Eid al-Fitr approached, Ali reflected on the blessings he had received. He knew that his journey of faith was just beginning and the lessons he had learned during Ramadan would stay with him for a lifetime. So, dear friends, let us take the inspiration from Ali's story and strive to make the most of Ramadan Kareem. May we fast with sincerity, recite the Holy Quran with devotion and reap the countless blessings that Allah has promised to bestow upon us during this blessed month. Happy Ramadan!